All right, we're going to take a look at a Halal MRE made by Sapaco. These are very similar to standard MREs, except for the fact that all the components are Halal certified. The menu for this one is a Halal Ratatouille, mixed vegetables and penny. This one does have a date put on it of 4231, meaning it was packaged on the 231st day of 2014. And it's actually vacuum sealed. And I don't expect to hear a hiss, but why don't we just kind of let the air out of this and see if maybe we do hear a hiss. Yeah, it was. So let's go ahead and check out this 2014 Ratatouille Halal MRE. Here is the entree, the ratatouille, mixed vegetables and penny. And here are the ingredients. And also the nutrition facts if you want to look at those. The entree itself has a date code of 4147. We have a standard from this ration heater. And we have a side of halal vanilla pudding. We also have orange beverage base powder. And here we have a accessory pack. It does have a small napkin, and it also has both salt and pepper. The standard MRE toilet paper. And you do not get coffee, but you do get two sugars. A moist towelette, and a pack of matches, another sign of a genuine MRE. And also a standard brown MRE spoon. We have spicy party mix, cinnamon sugar cookies, mixed nut crunch, and cranberry trail mix. And we'll start up by heating up the entree. And we'll give that about 10 to 15 minutes to heat up. Let's start with the cinnamon sugar cookies. And we do have little tear notches on the pouches. Those are pretty smashed up. They kind of smell like sweet shortbread cookies. I think a little bit of cinnamon smell is coming off of there. These are really pretty well smashed up. These smell good though. And the cranberry trail mix. It says peanuts, raisins, sunflower seeds, golden raisins, cranberries, almonds, and pumpkin seeds. This one is the mixed nut crunch. Again, it has peanuts. It also has toasted corn, sesame sticks, and pretzels. Let's see how this one smells. That's the same thing. It has that weird, um, I guess, stale or going rancid uh, oil kind of a smell. As a matter of fact, yeah, that is what this smells like. I've had these before, the toasted corn kernels, where they've gone bad, and it's just not a very pleasant smell, and it definitely has to do with the oils. So that leaves us with the spicy party mix. That smells old, too. It almost smells like latex paint or oil paint. I'm not exactly sure, but it's a strange smell. It's kind of like a smell you get when you open up a can of paint. Not what you want in your snack mix. But it does look like a good mix. It's kind of a nice variety of snacks here. Let's check out the vanilla pudding. A lot of ingredients on that too. Whoa. That's not looking very good. It's closer to butterscotch than vanilla. I have had this before and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be white. Yeah, it does not smell great. There's some vanilla smell coming through. You know, there's some chemical kind of a taste and maybe even smell that goes along with it. But, yikes. Even with that, it's usually not this bad. This is just not, not right. Yeah, that is not looking very good or very appetizing at all. Looks like some kind of a plaster paste or something. So the orange beverage base powder takes 12 ounces of water. And then we have our nice orange color.
And that's going to leave us with our ratatouille. Yeah, we'll see how this is. That smells fine. Here's the ratatouille. All right, and here's our entire meal. I have a feeling that we're not going to be able to actually eat too much of this. The entree I'm expecting to be okay. Ratatouille's not my favorite MRE entree. I'm not a vegetarian, and I really don't mind most of the vegetarian ones, but I kind of like it when they try to make them seem like they're not a vegetarian one, like when they add the uh, textured vegetable protein. But let's give this ratatouille a try. All right, since it's not my favorite dish, I haven't had it a lot, but um, it does seem like there might be something off about this. You bite into it, and it tastes just fine, and then you get kind of a strange aftertaste. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. It's not like the packaging. It's not really like it's going bad. It's just a little different. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to say about that. It, uh, I think it is. I think it's fine. And um, I only had this a couple times before, but uh, as I had mentioned, the uh, vegetarian dishes I like when they at least add some TVP. And I didn't notice that this actually does have vegetarian sausage crumble in it. So, for me, that uh, that kind of kicks it up a notch and makes it a little bit better. So you can see, you can definitely see the uh, tomatoes. There's some mushroom. Looks like some uh, green peppers here. I guess a little bit of uh, onion. And there's uh, zucchini and squash. I did see some of that. I think this might be a little bit of squash here. The pasta itself is on the mushy side. There's a pretty big chunk of tomato. Yeah, this is uh, kind of getting a better opinion of the uh, ratatouille from eating this. But that seems to be fine. And I guess we do have to try this, uh, this pudding, or at least you know, see what we can make out of this. I was going to say, I mean, you wouldn't expect shelf-stable pudding to really go bad, but it does have milk in it, so, I mean, that's something you have to be careful with. It doesn't taste too bad. It's got a little bit of a crunch in it. It's almost like it was the uh, the powdered one that I mixed up and didn't mix it well enough because it has a little bit of a little bit of a grittiness to it. But it definitely doesn't have as much of a vanilla taste as it should or as you would expect. But at the same time, I'm not getting a really bad aftertaste or anything, any really bad warning signs that this is not good. Now, either way, let's uh, clear the palate and wash that down with a little bit of the uh, orange beverage. Which you can see after it sits for a few minutes, it does kind of uh, clear up a little bit with that cloudiness. And that's your standard MRE drink. It's that artificial orange flavor, which you expect. I'm going to save the cookies for last because I think these are going to be okay. Judging by the smell, I'm going to try some of the stuff that I don't think is going to be okay. Let's start with this cranberry mix. I don't know if I got any cranberries in there, but um, you got to be careful with this. I think it's oils that are going bad, but you also have to be careful with the nuts, of course, because those can certainly go rancid, too. Yeah, it's a weird musty. I think I had, last time I did one of these, I think the same thing happened. It's a strange mustiness. It's not that pleasant of a thing to eat. I think this would be one of the best nut raisin mixes I think I've had in an MRE if it was fresher. Try the mixed nut crunch. And that sesame stick I just had seemed to be fine. I actually, let me try one of these uh, corn kernels on its own. Yep, that's not good. Wow, that's pretty bad. It's weird, I never really knew until I uh, started having some older toasted corn kernels in uh, MREs that corn nuts is something that would go bad, but they apparently do. So I'm not gonna have any more of those, but the uh, Not great. No, everything everything has that. It's more of an aftertaste with everything else, but the uh, corn kernels, it's right away. Uh, it's in the peanuts, too. I don't know if the peanuts are bad themselves or they're just uh, suffering from the association, but that's no, not good at all. <clears throat> and I'm getting a weird feeling around the sides of my tongue. So, no more of that. And this one, the spicy mix. This doesn't have uh, nuts in it. So you kind of save from that, but it does have plenty of oils, which, because they're not in a protective packaging, I think uh, this probably isn't going to be good either. But let's take a look and see what's in here. It's uh, pretzels and assorted rice crackers. You can see you have some different, uh, little different things in here. And it also has green peas, which is a kind of interesting touch. At first I thought these were wasabi peas, but it does say it's spicy. Mm, I don't know about spicy, but musty, yeah. It's got the same 
same problems. Another one that I think this would be great if it was fresh, but that is not designed to last more than about a year. And we'll finish off with what will hopefully be a, a pleasant dessert, the cinnamon sugar cookies. Let's see if these have survived any better. No, that seems to be good. It's kind of a minor component, but it seems to be probably the best thing in here, other than being somewhat pulverized. It's a good way to get a taste of some of the other stuff out of your mouth. Overall, I think it's a it's a fine meal for what it is. It's just that it's not intended to last this long. So the best thing I think that comes out of this review is the idea that if you have one of these, or if you have a case of these, it's really not the kind of thing you want to hold on to for long-term storage. It was a Halal MRE from Sapaco from 2014, and the entree was Ratatouille. Overall, uh, it was an interesting review. I was going to say it was, it was very good, but it really wasn't. Some of it was good, some of it was bad. But thank you for watching.